Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the technique of spread spectrum using wireless technology for modulating the data and for removing the uh, noise signal. So uh, we have two kinds of uh, spread spectrums in this. So uh, we'll be talking regarding the very first one that is we have the direct sequence spread spectrum also called as the DSSS in short. Uh, the other one is frequency hopping spread spectrum that we'll be seeing in the other video. So uh, let's begin. So it's a very simple concept, uh, no need to worry, but the technique is just as complex. Uh, so uh, in this, what this technique basically is used to eliminate or remove uh, the interference or the jamming which is caused due to the other signals and it does uh, overcome this technique by improving the bandwidth. And so uh, it has every signal has got a normal bandwidth and in order to improve the bandwidth than the original one it employs a technique and that technique is different. So it's a kind of process. So uh, what you have basically uh, any signal will have a kind of data bits like one zero in binary form or some other form. So uh, what this does is uh, it basically has a sequence called as a chipping sequence. So for example let's take a chipping sequence as X and that x gets multiplied with each of the data bit and so uh, the end signal uh, will have a bandwidth and which becomes a multiple of x so that is the basic technique of uh, s. and so the data will contain the data bits the signal will have the data bits as well as some chipping sequence or the chipping pattern and so the logic in this here uh, would be one bit will be represented by n bits and n bits uh, will constitute a chips or a set of chips and so the chipping sequence here is uh, designed by a scientist called as a Barker and so it's called as a Barker code or spread code and that code is uh, something like this so it re represents one zero double one zero triple one triple zero so uh, this uh, code or this chipping sequence is applied and we have some uh, uh, crest or trough and then you just uh, mix it with the signal so that we'll see so uh, why to use Barker's code in DSSS? Uh, because it provides an excellent noise immunity like the original signal uh, when it was there it have uh, lower bandwidth then you apply the chipping sequence and then you boost the bandwidth and then at that time it becomes difficult to locate the noise and uh, whether it, uh, it's a noise signal or a proper signal it becomes difficult to determine what kind of signal it actually is. So uh, for this we, uh, we have uh, two uh, objects in this or two different processes we have the modulation step as well as we have the demodulation step so modulation uh, step is very easy first you have the user data which consists of the data bits and then you apply the chipping sequence like here and so it's represented by x for representation purpose then uh, you have the modulator kept after that so uh, the resultant uh, creates a sped spectrum signal and so that is being applied to the modulator and then you have a radio carrier and that radio carrier along with the spread signal will generate the uh, original signal so uh, then the signal is transmitted and then after that uh, we have the demodulation phase so that's a bit complicated in uh, d triple s so uh, it's being broken down into uh, two phases phase one and phase two phase one is difficult uh, so what it happens is basically the demodulation uh, takes place so the transmitted signal is just fed into this demodulator and then you need to have the original radio carrier which was there in the uh, modulation step and then you need to uh, apply a low pass filtered signal and so uh, that will be a filtered signal than the original transmitted signal then uh, you have a correlator so that correlator will have two different pro products so that will be the chipping sequence and uh, that is this one that is the x and then you have an integrator which just integrates so here what you have the uh, combined data signal then it will just remove the chipping sequence and then the data bits are separated in this and then uh, it will give a uh, sample points or sampled sums would be there then there will be a decision support system which determines which data uh, needs to be modulated or uh, how the data is being laid or whether the bandwidth is increased or not and so uh, you have the uh, data after that and you get the resultant data so uh, this is how the demodulator uh, looks like and uh, then for example let's consider a signal so that signal uh, let's consider the uh, 
lower portion as 0 and then uh, increased as 1. So uh, you have this data in this format and so you XOR it with the chipping sequence. So that data with this chipping sequence is XOR and uh, you have this chipping sequence in this way that is you have 1 then you have 0 then double 1 then 0 then triple 1 then triple 0 and so the chipping sequence is applied and so when you uh, just uh, multiply this chipping sequence with this data you get the resultant output in this way so in this you can see the bandwidth was like this uh, later it's increased to uh, some higher level and then 0 is just increase so you can see the difference in the bandwidth in these two signals which was there in the original one and the output so uh, everywhere uh, one represents a high whereas zero represents a low one represents a high zero represents a low and so on uh, the chipping sequence is applied and you get the resultant data and so the data generated with the help of this and so the signal obtained uh, will be difficult to determine whether it's a noise signal or it's a proper signal. So well that was all regarding the DSSS that is the direct sequence spread spectrum uh, in wireless technology. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.